Hello, my name is Michał Kawulok. Welcome to my brief presentation on deep learning for super resolution reconstruction of Sentinel-2 images. Image spatial resolution is an important requirement for computer vision systems. It is subject to a number of trade-offs that include cost, frequency and even safety in some cases. Super resolution reconstruction is a common term for a variety of techniques whose common goal is to process a low resolution input to generate a higher resolution image. Here we focus on Sentinel-2 images, which are acquired using a multispectral instrument that captures 13 bands, whose ground sampling distance ranges from 10 meters up to 60 meters GSD. There have been a number of methods developed for super resolution reconstruction. The simplest ones are based on interpolation for single image super resolution. Some of them are based on solving an optimization problem with some regularization imposed. And finally, there are a bunch of techniques that are based on learning. This can be implemented based on dictionary learning for sparse representation. And nowadays, most of the methods are based on deep learning that exploits convolutional neural networks. Super resolution reconstruction methods can be categorized based on the data that are processed during the reconstruction process. So we have different input data, like a single image where no fusion is performed during the reconstruction. Then we have multiple images that show the same region. And here we can benefit from information fusion during the reconstruction. And finally, we have video streams. We can also focus on the data that are used for training the networks and for validating the result. And here we can distinguish simulated or real low resolution images. Let me explain that with, uh, with a figure. So if we have a high resolution image acquired by a certain satellite, we may take this image, downgrade it to obtain a simulated low resolution result. And then we can process this low resolution image to obtain a super-resolved image. And we can compare this super-resolution outcome with the original high-resolution image to train the network as well as to evaluate uh, the super-resolution algorithm. Much a better solution is when we have two independent sources of images. Uh, one delivers high-resolution images, and the second one delivers low-resolution data. And we take this low-resolution data, process them to obtain high-resolution uh, result, that is the, our super-resolved image, which is then compared with the high-resolution image during the training and for evaluating super-resolution outcome. In this table, we gather uh, the works in which uh, super resolution for Sentinel-2 images was proposed. And uh, we have reviewed these papers and the conclusions are as follows. First of all, uh, super resolution for Sentinel-2 images is an actively explored field, especially for single image super resolution. Most approaches exploit deep learning. Also, which is quite positive, is that using real low resolution and high resolution data is becoming more and more frequent, especially in the, uh, the most recent methods use uh, real uh, low resolution data. However, it must be noted that the capabilities of single image super resolution are quite limited and very often uh, some artifacts are observed, especially for high magnification factors. This shows uh, the potential uh, research gaps that can be addressed in the future, which are that the multiple image super resolution is still little explored, and also that multispectral information is used mainly for pan sharpening, which allows for uh, improvement up to 10 meters of GSD. Here are the papers that we have reviewed while preparing this presentation, so if you need more details, please refer to them. 
Thank you for your attention.